All right, this is what I saw today on gold. Obviously, it's a new year, so I was a bit cautious. But generally, I'm of the opinion with every month end and end of season, there is a bit of manipulation happening. So they always want to hit targets and make things go a bit higher than normal. But as you can see, I like the weekly daily four hour for my analysis. Uh, we can see that gold had over the last couple of years highs right here. So this is a, a strong rejection zone that I was looking into and I, w I thought it was going to break and build above this. I was quite convinced we are going to eat 2100 but it never closed on it. So already I had a bias for strong rejection on it. So basing it off that, obviously I'll go to the daily. And what I saw in the daily was a huge rejection coming from, from this area. So it's struggling to break above it. Um, obviously, there's still a lot of things that can happen. Um, daily, weekly charts take long to play out completely. Um, and then another thing that I saw was a few imbalances. Depending on whatever your theories are on, on chart analysis, imbalances that I saw was a huge gap breaker blocks and so forth. Imbalance, there it looks kind of alright on the daily. Um, maybe down here still this might be a form of support which I just highlighted. So this is just to get my bias quickly. And then on the 4 hour we can see the huge rejection that happened but even on the closure of this candle and this is where it comes more of a bit of a smart money approach. Um, I shared the screenshot earlier on the Discord server, but this is what I like to do. I could just connect my lows with each other to see the trend. And over here I could see it already broke through the trend and it went back to the premium zone for possible liquidity. Um, so this is how I did it. Um, you can see a break there and then from the high to the low, this is just my method of finding validations. It's in my 61.84 liquidity, so as well as my last premium block, it did tap into my last bullish candle before we saw bearish price action. Um, so it's from basically from this area that it rejected from. Um, I'm just going to zoom it in a little bit, and then on maybe the one hour you can see it as well. I'm careful of, of going lower than this on, on these time frames. But the last movement up before we started seeing rejections is in this area. And so I can scale it down to, to lower and lower time frames. Um, there is still a bit of a, a gap, unfilled gap here, a bit of a breaker block area here. Um, validation on it as well was when I looked at sessions. Maybe I must just delete everything quickly. And just put the session indicator on. Very quickly here you can see the highs and the lows of the markets uh, per session. So we could see a failure to break the Sydney and Tokyo highs. London came and tested never broke through. So this is an area that was a point of interest for me. This area never came to fill it. But this is also what I, I would refer to as a premium area right there and it tapped into it basically on the spot so exactly halfway of that block was a very sniper entry there and then you would aim for for lows so immediately there basing it off this I had a few uh, confluences for this trade so there was an entry right there let me just remove the sessions quickly um, so there was a prime entry there, I had a, a trend break and a potential retest of this area as well, as long as well as the FIB levels. Um, and potentially I marked out, I think on the FIB extensions as well, I marked out targets. Now if it hits those targets, I can't say, there's no guarantee. 
for me in my system I would just like to see a good entry where I can so potentially you can put a very small risk reward ratio and you can aim for something like that that's a 1 to 12 so you can actually trade very small amounts of risk for fairly good gains um, yes it doesn't always work no trade works out perfectly but this is a system that I'm testing and I've back tested it for about two or three years it is successful um, it just takes a lot of patience but yeah that's basically what I saw a rejection of a, of a order flow that is starting to become bearish also we had a break of this area started give, giving me indication of a change of character uh, change of character so that's a new low that broke on the lower time frame and that gave me reason to say it will change of character will come back and retest it came back to a point of interest and it rejected off it and potentially we can see the first target is this 2050 level and potentially even more 2040 um, there is a bit of support that was but also here yeah, it broke structure on this low this was a break of structure right here which validated this entire trade to potentially go down much further um, this is liquidity trend let me just mark it out correctly so people can see what it means liquidity trend and it bounced off an uh, untested order block over here came back and now it's breaking it and so it fetched liquidity and now it's potentially going down further um, it's a bit of smart money approach I know a lot of people like it some people don't like it but it does tie in a lot with uh, the Quasimodo effect which I also know as this